Kuku Taraki uh, is a community of learning of 280 teachers, 17 schools, one secondary school and 16 primary schools. There are 5,500 students in our Kahuiako and that doesn't include ECEs. So when we bring in the Early Childhood Centre, which we've got nine Early Childhood Centres now involved, there's probably well over 6,000 students involved in it. We put together our community of learning, which our vision, uh, which is really about our community, our future. So it's a, a, a collective and a cohesive group. Uh, we established that communication for the Kahuiako was really important right from the start and we've tried lots of different ways of communicating across the Kahuiako. We sent out a pānui uh, every term for within school teachers and that sort of showed them what um, was coming up, anything that they needed to do when our next meetings were, um, little bits of information or little gems that we'd seen from around and about or websites that we'd seen that were really useful. We've had PD sessions with within school teachers and middle leaders which have been really beneficial and just help keep everyone on the same page. The main body of work for the Kahuiako this year, particularly for the across school teachers, has been the teaching inquiries. They have come out of what was identified in the very first email I sent out to principals back in 2015 when I asked what are the things that you're challenged with in your own school and what are you facing? And the first one and the most important one that came was co collaboration and modern learning environments and how that was impacting both on the curriculum that was being taught and the teaching practice. They align with achievement challenges that we'd set but they aren't the drivers of it. Uh, the achievement challenges are really a way of monitoring any changes in the system. But the changes in the system are about teacher practice. That was identified back in 2015. And when we came to the inquiries, we decided we need to burrow deeper, find out more about what those challenges were. Simple enough to say, teachers are struggling in this, but what are they struggling with? So we appointed 32 within school teachers as of November 2016. It was part of the timing. We didn't think we could appoint any across school teachers at that stage. So we had 32 within school teachers. And that gave us traction and people on the ground for the Kahuiako right from the start. Uh, our across school teachers, how do we support them? I suppose the best advice I could give to anybody would give them time. Give them time to actually get to know a, each other and, and they're a team, they need to be a team. Give them time to actually get to know their schools, get to know their working environment and get to know the challenges that are there. Um, second thing I'd say is we need to do role, get their role clarity uh, and that will come. Ours is still only just being formed but knowing exactly what they're there to do because everybody has an expectation about what they should be doing, we need to be clear so that when they go into schools what they're there to do. And I think the other thing that we did was give them leadership, training and support. Without professional development to actually do this job well, they will have problems. They are being asked to go and lead within schools in ways that we've never led before. And they need support and training. I've come into the Kahuiako a little bit down the track. Uh, some of my colleagues have been uh, well established already. But in coming in, I felt like I was all, already coming into a uh, a well-founded structure and I believe David as our lead principal has, a got, has a, uh, done a great job in establishing that foundation. He has put systems into place that have allowed us uh, to do our job in an easier manner. David our lead principal has been, he's been fantastic. He, because we're on site here at Fernside, he will attend part of our weekly meetings. He will challenge us on what we're doing but he'll also support and give us guidance as well, or direct us to um, other principals. He's been a great link between um, the management committee and us, but also giving really positive feedback and affirmation when, you know, when we've, he thinks we've been doing you know, some really great things. And it's built around the idea of communicating, collaborating to create, with the idea that at the end point is that we're creating something that couldn't have existed without us working together.